Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com. I teach paper crafting and I share my passion virtually by live streaming to either Facebook or YouTube using an app called Switcher Studio. I'm back with my second video in a series of four. This one is titled, How to Prepare Yourself and Your Environment for Live Streaming. A big thank you to Switcher Studio for sponsoring and endorsing this video and the three others in this series. If you didn't catch the first one, make sure that you look in the description below for that link. So at this point, I'm going to assume that you've watched that first video and you've moved beyond that fear and nervousness of live streaming, or you're trying to ignore it, even if it's still there. You've gathered up that equipment and you've checked your internet and you have some sort of plan in place for what you are going to be live streaming. So now let's chat about downloading the app, um, getting it onto your devices and setting up that recording area. So you're going to go to switcherstudio.com and you're going to sign up for the free trial. Um, I'm going to click on start now. You can see here, this is the main screen for starting that free trial. Fill out your information here. Also remember that as I mentioned in the last video, you can um, have a 30 day free trial by using the code Rachel30. So keep that in mind. Um, after we've done that, we're going to log in and we're going to start our downloads. So we're going to click over here and you can see that we can do uh, an app download on our iPhone and our iPad and we can do a switcher cast download uh, onto our laptop. I've already got that one set up on my computer, the switcher cast. You would just click there and you would make sure that it is in your computer. Um, just follow the steps. And then the same thing with the Switcher Studio app for your portable devices. Uh, but you wouldn't want to do that on your laptop. So you have to actually open up the app on your portable devices. So let's move this out of the way here. And let's get our uh, phone activated. So you're going to go to the App Store and you're going to type in Switcher Studio. And when it comes up, you can click on it, you can choose it, and you can see I've already got it on my device, so I just have to click open. But you would have the word get there, and you would, you would put that on both your um, iPad and your iPhone. So one of your questions may be, can you use it with just one or two devices? And yes, you can. But the purpose is to at least have a couple cameras, right? Uh, but And you can also use up to nine iOS devices, so you can have lots of cameras if you wish. What I do though, and I'm just going to share with you what I do, because that's what I know, um, I have three devices. I have my uh, iPad, which is aimed towards my face. It is the main control panel for me too, because it's a larger device, so I can see lots more buttons. Um, but you can use an iPhone for your control panel. I use my iPhone above. Um, it's aimed down onto my desk so that you can see what I'm sharing as I share it. And then I also, of course, use the desktop um, screen. And you actually have a couple of different views on your laptop. Uh, I have, of course, I'm showing what's on my computer. I can use my mouse and scroll around. And then I've also got the camera. So if I wanted to, I could activate the camera on my laptop. It's in the next video where I'll walk you through the Switcher Studio buttons and teach you how to run your first live stream. But let's at least get the app on the iPad open and connect the camera on your iPhone to it. We're going to click on Use as Switcher. We need to do this in order to work with setting up our environment, making sure the lighting's right, playing with the location of our equipment. So now that we've got that turned on, we're going to go to our um, iPhone device and we're going to click on the Switcher Studio app. And this time we're going to click on Share this device. We're going to move over to this button down here, which is a video um, little button. Click on that and we're going to select our phone. You can see what happens is it chooses the allow or reject. So we're going to click allow. You can see that I've got two phones on there and that is because I have another one that's recording right now but normally you wouldn't see that choice. I've also got my laptop set up so that I can use that if I want to. So we've got our camera ready on our iPhone. We've got our camera ready on our iPad. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna connect it onto my stand. So there is where I put the iPhone in my stand here. So it's facing down onto my desktop, okay? So now let's look at the iPad screen. That camera is this one here. I'm gonna click on it and you can see it shows up in this little preview area. That's the preview area. This is the other camera. We're gonna work with those two cameras. Now this one is my desktop and this one is my iPad camera. Right now my iPad camera is facing away from me. If I want this camera, this is where the camera sits, if I want it to face towards me, I'm going to have this one in the preview area. So let's click away from that one here and put this one in the preview area. And then we're gonna click that button and it's gonna aim it towards me. You're gonna see me and the phone that I'm holding there we go. <laughs> and we want that camera to be set up so that we can play around with um, lighting for this main camera and lighting also, if I click away from that and this one here, lighting also for this one. Lighting and camera angles are the first things that you'll want to initially set up and adjust. Once you have something that works, you can keep your stands in place or at least mark your table with tape so you remember when you set things up again the next time. And as I mentioned last time, daylight is best for recording video, but make sure it's not direct sunlight. Um, today is a cloudy day, so that works. So direct sunlight can create shadows, and you don't want that. In fact, my windows allow too much daylight, which is why I need to use those black foam core boards. I've equipped my room with bright, adjustable daylight light bulbs though. I love Archon brand for my live streaming stand. I have a link for it in the description below. Um, but there are many options out there for holding your iPhone and iPad steady during your live streaming. Just do a Google search or search on Amazon. Notice also that my iPad is up high on the stand and um, I have it positioned so that the camera is aimed right at my eye level. If it was lower, I'd probably have a shadow on my face from tilting down, and that angle is never flattering to one's face. Plus, who wants to look up my nose, right? Yes, I love Archon, Archon a lot. You can see the other one off there in the background. <laughs> then I have my iPhone slightly above that so that it's not seen in the iPad camera. You can see my other equipment set up nearby. Um, I have my supplies ready, I have my laptop ready, and it's lifted up also on a stand, so it's higher up at my fingertips. I even have my script um, positioned right underneath my iPad so that I can use that to read from. And right below that is the microphone. It's not hooked up right now because I'm using the phone that I'm holding in my hands as my main phone, but it does have a connection um, that would get plugged into the side of my iPad. Then adjust your cameras and your equipment. And once you have your two cameras set up and you've marked your spot where you're going to be instructing from, um, then you can arrange all the other equipment around you. You can have your laptop off to the right, you can have your supplies that you need to be instructing with off to your left or whatever. You've already seen it on the, on the desk. All right, one more tool that I find very helpful is my steps before broadcasting list. <laughs> I pull this out before my, before my lives, before I do any recording, and I just go through and make sure that I've done all of these things. I've charged my iPad, my iPhone, my laptop. Um, I have my notes, my outline printed out and it's taped up as you saw in the other scene there. Um, I have my supplies ready, my hair, my lip gloss. And this is important too for somebody who's instructing. I have lotion sitting nearby so that I can make sure that my hands look pretty decent. Um, making sure my fingernails are clean. <laughs> And I turn off the air in our house because our air conditioning or our heater does crank out a noise that's right behind me above on, our, on my ceiling. So I do that. I adjust my lighting. Um, I make sure that everybody in the house is also disengaged from as many devices as they can be because that sometimes can cause lagging in my broadcasts. 
I um, make sure that my devices are all on the same internet. Uh, if you have a couple different um, internet, wireless internets um, in, your, in your home or your environment, you wanna make sure that all devices are connected to the same one. The sound on my um, certain devices, all of my devices actually are off so that I don't have any notification noises coming through or anything. In fact, I even have do not disturb on my phone so it does not ring. And I have the brightness turned up on all the devices. The last tasks on my list include a few, few things that I'll share more about next time. But all these things help to remind me of what I need to check on before I hit that go live button. Now, you can certainly get more elaborate than, than this, than what I'm sharing. Um, but remember that I'm gearing this series of videos towards people who are looking to do something similar to what I'm doing. And once again, a big thank you to Switcher Studio for sponsoring this video and for helping me to share this with all of you. My next Switcher Studio sponsored video will help you to launch your first video. I'll be teaching you how to use the control panel on your iPad so that you can hit that go live button and start recording. So are you ready to give the Switcher Studio a try? Be sure to start your account for that two week free trial. And once you've got that started, then add the coupon code RACHEL30 for a 30 day free trial. Twice as long. <laughs> what a great way to give this app a go and see if it will work for you. I love it and I hope that you will too. You can see the code along the bottom of my screen and you can find that code and more details in the video description below this video. Yay, thank you so much Switcher Studio for sponsoring and endorsing this video and the three others that are in this series. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Until next time.